Hi folks, I'm Marvelous. I'm back for another kit build. And this time it's gonna be the uh, Plant Navy High Nun. And I did a review on this uh, kit uh, not too long ago, a uh, couple of weeks maybe. So this kit is uh, it's a 1700 scale and it's uh, produced by uh, Ming. Uh, they're quite popular. So the different thing about this kit is that um, it's a snap kit, so it's a bit different from the regular standard plastic models. And uh, I've done some uh, studying, some uh, checking on the kit. And uh, today we'll talk a little bit about that. <clears throat> and also some, uh, since I've started cutting out some parts, painted them, uh, I'll talk about those things. So let's get into this. Uh, I'll move away the box here. So, uh, okay, so this is what we have. And uh, I got the hull here, I got the bottom hull. And then I got some parts uh, cut up. So this is the uh, inner deck. And I'll show you how it snaps together. And some points about snap kits. So uh, first thing I would like to talk about is, uh, I think in my kit review, I did not uh, go in too much of a detail. So basically the, the hull looks like this. So this is the uh, water line. <clears throat> and the difference between this kit and regular plastic models is it has all these, uh, not sure what you call them, but uh, I call these uh, boss. So basically these bosses are the things that fits together. This is the upper deck. So these uh, round boss here will actually fit into this uh, uh, hole here. So um, the thing about snap kit is uh, it can be quite dangerous because a lot of these uh, areas for example, like this, between this deck and the hull. The moment you snap it in and you force, uh, force it in, it will be a, a one-time snap. You're not gonna be able to like take it out again and then uh, refit or you know do other adjustments to it. So once you have snap it in, and if you're trying to, if you're gonna try to take this out, you will definitely damage this because the, the fit is so tight that uh, if you use some objects like cutter knives, screwdrivers to try to yank it out, it will damage all these areas. So. Uh, snap kits are quite, uh, I would say, risky. So unless if you're ready to fit this in, uh, please don't do the uh, dry fitting because the moment you press this in, you're not going to get it off. Uh, certain areas you might still be able to <clears throat> to take off the areas. So for example, like this. Uh, this is a snap between this, this deck here and these side walls. So I've uh, fitted this and let me just show you. It's a very tight fit, but since this is not like a, like a dead bolt, it's it's it still comes off but uh, 
I think you have to apply certain force and if you I think if you pull it too hard it's gonna break these ribs here that actually goes into these areas and also some advice uh, if you want to make it a less tight fit you can actually sand off this kind of ribs a little bit so I have actually tried this and basically it fits like this so you have to actually really press it in to all the areas and you have to really push it in all the way so that there are no uh, gaps so I think you can see here that this one there's still some gaps over there so I'm gonna push this in so I think this is uh, and you still you need to check this uh, line if it's straight because okay here if you notice there is a little bit of curve there which means that the part is not pushed in all the way so yeah you can see that there is a, a slight gap here so these kind of areas you need to really push it in and uh, you can also apply some cement but it's a very hard uh, fit so even though even if you don't use the cement it's it will still hold so basically this step is uh, right here uh, shows actually it starts off with this and this is the two piece of side walls and the deck here so there is another piece that fits into the front. So I'm gonna try to... By the way, these are already painted. So I'm gonna try to uh, next put the other side in. So let's do this. So you see, when you push this part in, it's actually like bended here. So you need to just keep forcing the thing in and basically just have, uh, just make sure that this entire thing is straight. I can still see that there is some bend here. Not sure what's the reason for that. Okay, so, so it looks like that, and then there is this piece here that will go to here. So these are a little bit different from the uh, the Bandai's uh, Gundam kits. The Gundam kits have definitely better fit compared to this. So these are the the ribs that actually fits through here. So uh, I think it's really difficult to get the whole thing in. Okay, so now that I applied the force evenly, so everything just fits in there. And I do have another, this is this piece over here. And that <coughs> will fit to this thing here. So since this is a snap kit, I do not plan to do a lot of uh, putty work or sanding work 
because I, I want to enjoy the the snap itself because uh, it's supposed to snap in and it's supposed to be easy so if, if you're those uh, real plastic modeling maniacs uh, they would definitely putty everywhere again because you know they, some people just can't stand gaps because you will see there are certain gaps there but uh, I want to enjoy this as a snap kit so I will definitely not do maybe maybe just a minimal puppy if it's required for example this deck and the hull I've seen some people that even after they snap this in they will still putty these, uh, these seam lines all the way but if I do that, it will destroy the purpose of a snap kit and if I really wanted to enjoy the putty work and sanding I'll just build a trumpeter kit and enjoy it from there so this kit, it's, you know, it was quite expensive, it's a snap kit so I'm not gonna spend too much effort into doing the putting. So let's see uh, what other things I can uh, do here. So, okay, so this inner deck will fit into the hull, but before that, I'll need to uh, assemble this there is a boat that goes into this so I already have it uh, I already got it painted so I'm just gonna fit this in so let me just zoom in here and this is gonna be the boat I hope you can see it so I think I'm gonna require a tweezers here so these uh, these round parts are supposed to fit in here if the fits are too tight you can always do a little bit of uh, sanding so that it fits better into this hole here so now I'm pushing this boat into this and uh, okay it seems like it's already in the thing should be enough so and also another thing about snap kit you do not use glue so I'm gonna try to enjoy this kit without wasting my uh, cement so I got one of these in so this thing is supposed to fit in here so it's gonna be this way and this is gonna fit right here just gonna push this in like that okay so there we go so it's a it's a nice fit no gaps there so i'm gonna work on this other piece here this way but this boat is facing that way so yeah okay so that should be the top so this boat is gonna go in like 
that I'm going to bring the light closer so that you can see this. So I'm actually pushing this this bolt in and uh, okay, so it's not in so deep so I'm gonna just push it harder okay so looks like it's fitted in so this is gonna go to this side here okay so it's very tight um maybe applying some glue there would be good but i guess maybe it's not necessary so this kit has uh, a lot of inner details here same goes for the this deck and all the side panels but the sad thing is uh, none of these are gonna be seen after I fit into the hull so I'm not gonna I did paint this but I don't think I'm gonna just I'm gonna do so much weathering because it will not be seen so the next step would be this and in fact I, I did try to fit it in once and it was quite difficult <clears throat> basically all these uh, ribs here are the things that <clears throat> are the areas that's gonna fit into to these uh, holes here so okay let's just uh, try this so it's gonna fit in this way you can see that all these uh, bosses uh, fits like that to guide this piece in but I found that this these ribs actually does not fit in nicely to these holes here so what i've done is uh, i did sand a little bit of here this thing to make it thinner so it's gonna fit in like this and you, you have to note that <clears throat> there is a groove here for this front piece to actually fit in like that and you can see that it's, it's already bending this way which means so these these areas are already tight fit so which means this piece yeah there is a little bit of problem with the, the fitting dimensions so I'm gonna try to push this in so this rip has gone in and you can see that these two ribs are there but this two is still not in all the way so I'm gonna like to, okay it snapped really hard and these two so at the back here okay so how do I check this if this is uh, fitted actually it's not fitted nicely because I can see the ribs are inside this is uh, almost at the surface so I'm gonna have to like really push this in with a lot of uh, force but I think the ribs are too thick and it's not gonna go through there 
so I might have to okay it did come out so maybe I just need to push it harder so these are the things about <clears throat> snap kit that can be quite uh, challenging so maybe one way to check is uh, I can run my steel ruler to see if it's flat okay so nothing's uh, protruding from the from this inner deck because if the inner deck is higher than this level later you're gonna have trouble to to put this in but i guess this can go in a little bit further Seems like it's so it's almost there. Okay, so I guess I guess this is uh, as far as it will go. And okay, I got that part done. So there is something here. H five. Oh, by the way, I have actually painted all these pieces. Uh, while it's on the sprue so i painted it this is in uh i'm using back the same color i'm using 334 for this gray and 305 for the this deck and one thing about this kit uh, the color code's not given in this Mr. Hobby's Mr. Color. It is the accretion uh, version, which have a totally different kind of numbering. So I'm having a hard time looking up the conversion on that color code. So I decided to just go with uh, what I think it, you know, the, the color should be so the plastic is the plastic is quite hard um, because it is a snap kit so I, I think it's harder than the normal type of plastic models so I'm just cleaning up a little bit on these edges and it's always good to uh, sand the edges which is what I always do in my standard builds anyway for example like all these edges uh, these kind of edges basically anything that goes together it should be sanded <coughs> so that the fits are, are always better so um, I have this piece here and it should go into the back here uh, okay so there's two boss here which is gonna go into this okay I did not clean up this surface so and this surface I think will be very difficult to clean now that I have this in but anyway I'm just gonna take my chance to okay so this is another dangerous uh, part because if I try to just push this in and if it doesn't go in all the way it's gonna pose a problem later when you're putting the deck or something else so uh, I don't think I have a chance to try this I'm kind of worried so I am going to do a little bit of uh, sanding here and uh, let me just try to look maybe I'll use a, a 400 
So what we can do is, wait, I'm just gonna rip this up a bit. So what we can do is just uh, wrap it around the boss and you know, just try to make the surface smooth. Not sure how much this is gonna take out on the boss. And the thing about these uh, these edges here, uh, there's always a chance that <clears throat> there are a little bit of uh, uh, radius. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, just hang on a minute. I'm looking for my tool. So I have this uh, a triangle file here. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of this kind of uh, cleaning. It's actually to take off the radius here. And uh, because that radius is gonna be the one, the thing that will make the part not fit in all the way. There, there is always a little bit of uh, a very, very small radius because when the tools are ejected out uh, this way the mold it will create a little bit of uh, radius there so I'm gonna take off this uh, this area here and what I'm talking about is uh, maybe I can just draw out a little bit of a diagram for you so maybe I can just so if for example if this is the boss here like that oh, sorry so this is looking from the side view usually there will be a little bit of like this kind of radius there so when when it when there is a radius here the other part that is supposed to fit in usually it's not going to go in all the way because of this radius so it's good to foul these uh, these corners off a little bit <clears throat> uh, this is just you know some of my speaking from experience so now that I have uh, roughed up a bit okay so it's still very I don't know it feels tight so I'm actually like pushing it and seems like it, okay seems like it's going in smoothly so I will attempt to push this in once and for all so here we go. Uh, you can see that the, this there's a, still a step here. So I'm gonna force this in now. So, yep. so okay. So the edge here is uh, almost there. And you can see that there is a big step here, but I'm gonna push this in. All right, so, so the sanding on the boss did the work. So this is actually, I would consider this to be at the level where it should be. Because, because this, this uh, surface should become same as here so that the top deck will fit in. But of course you can just sand off the top if it doesn't fit also okay so uh, done uh, this so after this uh, I'm not gonna be like <clears throat> assembling all these things all the way together with you because it's gonna become too long so there are all these pieces that uh, I've already painted here so I'm gonna start attaching all these 
in my next uh, video i will show you maybe more uh, progress and just i wanted to show you another thing which is uh, okay. seems like okay i got this uh, i got this piece here so this is the the front piece and it's supposed to fit into here actually there's no purpose for this in normal plastic models they would just give you the small piece to put here but since this is a snap kit all these uh, this this kind of things you, you can't snap it to the holes so they give you this big piece and it will go in from behind like this so that it comes out here and here and you don't have to actually glue it and earlier I did push this thing in and uh, the front boss went in but one of these did not go in so I had to actually yank it out using this but it almost broke this piece because uh, the fit was so tight uh, over one of these bosses here so these kind of things we have to be careful it's uh, usually it's a one go thing you know and the moment you press it in uh, you won't be able to take this out unless you do it really slowly carefully and you know just make sure you don't break this so I will continue uh, assembling this later and there's another thing which uh, just before I go I would like to highlight so this bottom piece in fact I've already painted this it came with a sandblasted surface so I did not uh, sand the entire thing but there are some areas where you need to clean up a bit there are two gates one here and one here so there are gates here so you need to clean that up and there is a parting line all the way from here comes to this uh, up to this stabilizer and here 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 and here so uh, this is after i have cleaned it up probably you can't see maybe it's still a little bit of faint line there but the, that parting line has to be cleaned up because it's, it's really raised up and here I think you can still see there are some scratches that I couldn't sand off nicely and while sanding this parting line here you might need to be careful because there are some raised details here that you don't want to take off same goes for this side there is a round raised detail and uh, there's a parting line there and then I also notice there is a parting line from here all the way to the other side and there is one middle parting line all the way to the top and uh, of course <coughs> since there's a hole here so the it's a slight mole on this side and from this side that is why there is a parting line from here and all the way in the center to the top and the parting line for this area is because of these things are already molded together so there is another one piece of mold here and one at the bottom. So these kind of things you need to actually look clearly and uh, check and clean up. So this parting line you cannot avoid not sanding it. So you will actually have to paint this. For those people who are not going to paint this, uh, if you clean up that parting line with the sandpaper, it's gonna look very messy. You will see lots of scratches, you know. 
unless you do not plan to take that parting line which is very obvious uh, some people can take it some people might not so later i will also fit this and this is also another dangerous fit because if the boss gets stuck somewhere halfway and there is a very big gap line and there's no way for you to to close it you might have to reopen this but you will damage the edges so for this fit i will probably have to send off a lot of uh, you know these these bosses here maybe even make it a loose fit so that it it fits in uh, i want the the gap line to be minimal and i do not plan to putty this water line here because you can't really putty because of these details anyway so since this is a snap kit i want to enjoy that snap uh, feature so i don't want to putty it so this has to be done really carefully between the, the top upper hull and the lower hull so uh, i think my video got a bit long this time uh, but this is uh, where i'm at now so i'm gonna try to work my way through and uh, i'll come back again with another video another chapter so until then uh, thanks for watching and if you like it uh, give it a thumbs up uh, please subscribe and until the next time uh, stay tuned Happy modeling and cheers for now. Bye.